Hi, we haven't had a dumpster dive computer in a while. I found this one down there this morning. It was actually in a uh, pool of uh, water. It was coming out of the dumpster, like they had dumped it on the ground, not physically in the dumpster. But thankfully it's got some feet on the bottom, so I don't think it uh, got wet in sight and it looks boring as, but it looks pretty modern. So let's check it out. First of all, the case is absolutely enormous. Got to, oh no, there's only one fan in there. Another one's not fitted. The DVD multi-drive looks old. Jeez, ancient. Anyway, on top, we've uh, got your requisite audio, but we've got external SATA, uh, no USB 3 on the top, but let's check out the back. And fan vents on the top as well, and on the back side. So yeah, this is designed for, uh, you know, like a big type gaming type case. Now this is actually a fractal design case and I'm led to believe that they're actually quite uh, decent cases. It's got uh, your old school uh, PS2 stuff, uh, you at regular USB, but USB 3 as well. Pretty much I won't touch a machine now, um, like a dumpster machine, unless it has USB 3. That's a dead giveaway, like I didn't even have to open this up in the dumpster room to know it's a fairly modern-ish motherboard if you've got uh, USB 3 on there. Anyway, looks like it has a half decent uh, video card in it, DVI and the uh, mini HDMI by the looks of it. It's got a Wi-Fi uh, card, look at that. Triple antenna, we can uh, rip that out. And I believe the uh, thermal take uh, tough power, 775 watt power supply, geez, you'd score it just for that if it's in uh, reasonable nick. So let's take it apart. Usually these things are uh, fairly uh, junked. How do you, yep. Whoa, hello, video card. That's the first thing I noticed. Look at the big ass video card. We've got a hard drive. Usually people strip the hard drives out of them. That'll be interesting to see if it just boots flat out. I mean, geez, you know, that's piss poor security. Um, this is in a commercial business park. So presumably it's a business machine. I mean, it could be people do throw out their home stuff in the, uh, you know, if you've got a key to the uh, garbage room here, if you work in the building, then you uh, have a key to it. But uh, anyway, the power supply, I, I, looks pretty good. Um, Thermal Take are a good uh, brand, I believe, 775 watts. So it's a pretty decent uh, beast. And the video card looks like a beast too. Gigabyte motherboard. Uh, looks like only got um, half the RAM populated, no idea. But it hasn't been stripped of anything. It's practically, a, well, assuming there's nothing wrong with it, it's a bootable machine. We've got the uh, stock Intel uh, cooler on the thing. They're like, okay, unless you're doing, like, you know, extreme gaming or whatnot. Actually, the video card's an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 570. And yeah, it dates from 2012, but that's still a decent video card. Uh, a pass mark of uh, 4400 or thereabouts. So, um, nothing wrong with that at all. Decent score. And there's the motherboard for those playing along at home, the Gigabyte uh, GAX58 USB 3, and this has Intel i7 support on it. So I would bet my bottom dollar that's either an i7, as I found uh, twice before in the dumpster, or, you know, if I'm unlucky, maybe an i5, perhaps, or mm, it's probably not going to be an i3 in this kind of machine with this kind of video card. Anyway, it is very neatly uh, cabled, and we've got ourselves a 1.5 gig hard drive. Hmm, 7200. Let's power it up. We've got a LED on the side of our power supply down there. There we go. Three green LEDs. That means the power's, power's good on the power supply. Fans are spinning. Stuff's whirring. It beeped. Yes! It boots! That is... Amazing! Somebody threw out a fully working PC, Windows 7 Pro. Uh, it's a configuring Windows update. <laughs> oh, I'll get back to you. Oh, isn't that pretty? Um, I would say somebody Chinese has uh, used this because it's all in... Yeah. Um, I have no idea. Fox Mail, Angry Birds, uh, whatever this 
crap up here is. I, I got no idea. Well, I won't show you what's uh, on the hard drive. Suffice it to say, uh, not much. It's pretty clean installation. It's got like World of Warcraft and uh, and just like some music and, and stuff. But there's basically like nothing on there. Um, like, you know, nothing in terms of... Uh, uh, work stuff or anything like that. So of course, you know, I would just uh, nuke this thing. I wouldn't uh, uh, use it at all. Let's try and find out the processor. And bingo, Core i7 950, 3.07 gig. That's got a uh, pass mark of typically uh, 5500. And there's the benchmark compared to a i7 uh, 4790K at 4 gig. It's not too bad. Holds its own. So. You know, it's not a, uh, you know, i7-377-0 um, or something like that. But, geez, it's not a bad machine at all. In fact, probably, is this the best dumpster find I had? I think I had it. I found an Intel Core i7-750 uh, or something like that. Um, I can't recall exactly. But, uh, yeah, I believe this one is actually more modern. There you go. Wow! And of course we've got the NVIDIA GeForce GTX uh, 570, which is no slouch. And uh, this is probably a better machine than um, a lot of people are using. If, <laughs> if it is, uh, leave it in the comments down below. Sorry, but uh, yeah, this was literally on the floor of the dumpster room. And for those who don't know, this is not just a dumpster the public can access. This is a co for a commercial office complex multiple buildings share this uh, uh, dumpster room and uh, you know it's actually cleared out a couple of times a week which is another reason why I might often miss stuff so unless I go there every single day there's a good chance which I don't anymore given that I have the second office I'm not always here um, so at the uh, lab uh, for example and by the way the new uh, the office where I edit the videos that also has a dumpster room But I, I found a monitor in there, but basically uh, nothing else really but uh, yeah There's some furniture down there that uh, they've dumped as well But yeah, I'm, I'm not sure that this was an a office machine or it could be somebody's home machine that they've uh, Dumped or whatever. Oh, sorry. How much memory did it have? Oh six six gig? Oh, yeah, because it only had the three uh, sticks in there, so there must be two gig sticks. I've got a ton of uh, memory lying around. I could uh, fill this thing up that I've uh, scored all that memory from uh, dumpster machines, so I could fill that up, no worries. And uh, the motherboard's pretty decent, too. It's got USB 3 and all the requisite super high-speed PCI Express and SATA stuff. It's no slouch whatsoever. So yes, um, this is not your average dumpster that your average public can access, but all commercial office complexes have these types of dump dumpsters, and you're not actually supposed to dump this stuff in there. You're not supposed to dump office furniture, office computers, or anything like that. It's supposed to be just for, uh, you know, regular garbage, but nobody reads the sign and everyone just dumps all sorts of stuff in there. So it looks pretty clean, and the, you know, the power supply looks schmick as, Geez, that's better than any power supply I've actually got, even in my dual Xeon machine. Um, so amazing that they kept the hard drive in there. They obviously didn't care. Um, there's just nothing on there that they cared about, or they, or they just didn't think of it. So that is a pretty decent dumpster score. <laughs> I hope you liked that. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. And yeah, I mean, people say more dumpster diving videos. Well, Sorry, I'm at the mercy of what people throw out uh, here. And as I said, I not always Johnny on the spot to get these things. You know, I'd have to set up like a surveillance camera or something to, uh, you know, live feed to see what people are dumping down there. But uh, yeah, it, that's not a bad find at all. Clean it up a bit, you know, blow it all out and, and uh, whatnot. And I, unless they're like, you'll, I'll run a full diagnostic on it, burn it in and all that sort of stuff, but geez, not a bad machine at all. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Catch you next time. Oh, by the way, there was something wrong with it. One of the feet broke off. Wah, 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 wah.